Sheila from the Palmyra Community Library. It's great seeing you again. Um, I just wanted to say good morning and let's get started right away with our virtual story time by starting with our perky bird. You can grab something that you have or I like to use my fingers. Good morning, Mr. Perky Bird. Perky Bird, Perky Bird. Good morning, Mr. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying in the air, the air, the air, the air, the air, the air. I'm flying in the air, the air. Where are you? Boo. Let's do that again. Good morning, Mr. Perky Bird. Perky Bird. Perky Bird. Good morning, Mr. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying in the air, the air. The air, the air, the air, the air, the air, I'm flying in the air, the air, where are you? Boom! Yay! Uh, this week I have some really great stories, so I'm going to get started right away. The first book I have is called All By Myself by Ivan Bates. Hey, who's in this book? It looks like an elephant. Fun, fun elephant. Why don't you get out your trunk, take your mouth, and blow on some skin go... Does that sound like an elephant? <laughs> so here's a story that's called All By Myself by Ivan Bates. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at those pretty end papers. Look at the elephant and his mama. Oh, looks like there's some other animals in there. A tiger, a snake, and a bird. Let's see what happens in this story. All By Myself. Do you ever feel like you want to do it all by yourself without any support? Any help? Let's see what happens with this elephant. Every morning, Maya, May, Maya and her mother had breakfast together. Maya's mother would reach her long trunk high up into the branches of the tree to pick the juiciest leaves for them to eat together. Aw, she's a good mama, the elephant. And she'd reach way high up in the sky, high, high, high in the sky. But one morning, just as her mother was about to reach up and pick some leaves for breakfast, Maya said, I want to do it. But you're just a little elephant, said her mother. I want to do it, said Maya, all by myself. Very well, said his, her mother. Maya looked at the tree. It was very tall. The leaves seemed very far away. She thought for a bit. Hmm. Then she picked up a branch that was lying on the ground and she stretched up as high as she could and she went swish, swish, swish. Can you, Maya, pretend you're Maya. Grab a branch and go swish, 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 swish. Do you think that worked? Let's see. She swished at the branches above, trying to knock the leaves down. The branches swayed and shook, but no leaves fell down. Aw, Maya, she's gonna come up with a different idea. Let's see what else, let's see what our other an old lion who, lion who was snoozing nearby came to see what all the swishing was about. Hey, I can, I can climb the tree with my claws and pick up some leaves just like you, if you like, growled the sleepy lion. No, thank you, said Maya, politely. I want to do it all by myself. That's a gorgeous lion, isn't it, indeed? Who's this over here? Little gecko? It's a pretty color, that gecko, isn't it? Love it. So let's see what happens. Oh, and I see a monkey. Can I see the monkey up here? Monkey. Mm, lots of really great jungle animals in this story. Maya thought for some more. Then she had another idea. She ran down to the water hole. There she stretched out her trunk and sucked up as much water as she could. <laughs> Can you help her go? <laughs> Pretend you're sucking up in a straw. Let's see. What do you think she's going to do with the water? Let's hop and see. When her trunk was full, she ran back to the tree and pointed her trunk and blew. <laughs> uh oh, what's gonna happen? Uh oh, the water whooshed up into the tree, getting everyone all wet, and the branches splashed and dripped. But no leaves fell down. Aw, poor Maya. So let's see what happens next. Look at the, the lion does not like to get wet. He's like house cats, they don't like water. Well, some don't, I shouldn't say all. The bird who had been sunbathing at the top of the tree came down to see what all the whooshing was about. 
What do you think you're doing? She squawked. Squawk, squawk. What are you doing flapping water off her wings? When Maya exclaimed that the, explain, the bird chirped, I can fly to the top of the tree and pick some leaves like you, if you like. No, thank you, said Maya. I want to do it all by myself. Maya's growing up so fast, isn't she? Maya looked at the tree and thought very hard. Then she stepped back three paces and took a deep breath and charged at the tree, pushing the trunk as hard as she could. Bump! Do you think that's going to work? The tree did not move, and all the leaves did not fall. My head hurts, says Maya sadly. Oh, poor Maya, be careful. <laughs> I love this one. The lion's closing his eyes. He's like, I can't watch. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Suddenly, a snake appeared from underneath a rock. If you like I can slither up and pick some leaves. No, thank you, whispered Maya. I want to do it all by myself. S can you s hiss like a snake? S I like it. But this time Maya had no ideas. It was such a tall tree, she was the only little elephant. Then a voice she knew very well, Jen said gently, I have an idea. <gasps> Who's that? Is that the mom? Or the dad? Let's see what their idea is. Poor Maya. And with that, Maya's mother carefully slipped her, her long tusks under Maya and curled her trunk underneath the little elephant and lift her, lifted her high into the branches of the tall tree. Maya stretched out her trunk and picked out all the juiciest, greenest leaves she could find all by herself. Hooray. Good job, Maya. Maya was very happy, was a very happy little elephant, and her mother was a very proud mother. Together they ate their breakfast, and Maya thought it was a very best, it was the very best breakfast she had ever had. Because she did it all by herself, right? And then together they strolled off across the plains as the sun rose into the sky. And there's the end. Unfortunately, I can't really see the last page here. I guess that could be them right there. So bye-bye, Maya. Goodbye, Mama. Elephant. So maybe tomorrow morning when it's time to make breakfast, you can help your adult making breakfast. So you can start doing it all by yourself. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? I bet your mom would love that. So let's do the owl um, round. Do you remember the owl round? And it goes like this. There's a wide-eyed owl. With pointy, with a pointy nose. Oops, I always forget the nose. And he has pointy ears and claws for his toes. He sits at a tree and he looks at me. He flaps his wings and looks at you. He flaps his wings and says, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Let's try that again because I messed it up. There's a wide-eyed owl with a pointy nose. Point, point, point. He has pointy ears, choo, 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 and claws for his toes. He sits in a tree and he looks at you. He flaps his wings and says, hoo, hoo, hoo. Good job. Now let's do two dicky birds. Two little dicky birds sitting in a cloud. One name soft, the other name loud. Fly away soft bird, fly away loud bird. Come back, loud bird. Yay. Roll, roll, roll your arms as slow, fast as fast can be. Do it now and let me see. Do it now with me. Clap, clap, clap your hands as loud as loud can be. Do it now and let me see. Do it now with me. Tap, tap, tap your toes as soft as soft can be. Do it now and let me see. Do it now with me. Now shake your feet. Shake, shake, shake your feet as fast as fast can be. Do it now and let me see. Do it now with me. Roll, roll, roll your arms as slow as slow can be. 
Do it now and let me see. Do it now with me. Good job. I do have another great story. It's called Beastly Babies. I love this book. It's Again, I love the, the illustrations. And its author is Ellen Jackson. Beastly Babies. <laughs> None of you babies are beastly. You guys are all really beautiful babies. Look how the paw, he's crossing his front paws. Our dog does that at home. I just love when they do that. <gasps> Ooh, and it's a beautiful purple in paper. Let's see what happens to these beastly babies. See them peek peeking. Those beastly babies. Let's see what they're doing. And this is by Ellen Jackson. Oh, look at them. They're peeking. Oh, look at all those eyes. Hmm, I wonder what those beasts are. Let's see. Babies can be smooth and hairy. <laughs> look at that baby. Looks silly, doesn't he? Smooth and smooth or hairy. Quail or whale or dromedary. I think that's what a drum there is, that animal right there. Maybe a camel. Babies can be one or many, lots and lots, or hardly any. Oh, look at the one rhinoceros. He's cute, isn't he? I love the illustrations. The, the babies are um, drawn out so uniquely, aren't they? Mama tigers crawl and creep, walking, stalking, and then they leap. Tiger babies pounce and fail, fail when they aim for mama's tail. Baby tiger. <laughs> Baby tiger goes. <gasps> Beaver mamas chomp and gnaw using teeth just like a saw. Now the baby does it too, biting more than he can chew. Chomp, 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 chomp. Jumbo elephants of jumbo size do, do, drowse and doze and close their eyes. Baby butts and rams and slaps. There goes mama's noontime nap. Hey, mama's babies, don't wake up your mama. She's taking a nap. <laughs> That's silly, mama's napping. Mama Robin brings a treat, slugs or bugs or something sweet. Ew, bugs. Baby Twitters, give me more. I got three, but she got four. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Baby rhinos get a nuzzle from their mama's mega muzzle. Munching, crunching, he grow, he'll, he'll grow large. Watch him practice how to charge, charge, <laughs> charge. Mamas gather, weave and shred, grass and leaves make a bed. Whether kit or chick or pup, wiggling babies mess it up. They're making a big mess of their bed, aren't they? Hey, babies, cut that out. Don't be making such a mess. Puppies slobber and kittens spill. Young gorillas cannot sit still. Mama's gobble, mama's cluck. Barnyard babies run amok. Amok, amok. Amok means like crazy everywhere, right? Baby piglets will not wallow. Baby ducklings do not follow. Baby otters splash and splish. Baby bears cannot cannot catch a fish. Oh, not yet, bear, but you will eventually, baby bear. Keep practicing. I love that duck. I always love zigzagging. <laughs> He's cute, isn't he? Baby buffalo get grumpy. Baby kangaroos get jumpy. Baby octopus squirt ink. Baby skunk cause skunks cause quite a stink. Pew pew skunk pew pew. That baby skunk's kind of cute, though, isn't he? He's like, oops, sorry. <laughs> His facial expression, right? Making mischief, having fun. Each is precious, everyone. In a knoll, a hole, or a nest, mamas love their babies best. Look at all those babies. Babies, babies everywhere. Babies must fuss and cry, but they grow up by and by. And what, and what awaits them when they've grown? Hmm, I wonder. What awaits babies as they've grown? Beastly babies of their own. <laughs> there's a sloth, a beastly sloth. <laughs> That's so cute, isn't it? Beastly babies.
I just wanted to thank you so much for your time. I just wanted to remind you of a couple of things, and then while I'm talking, you want to grab some rattles. I'm going to do rattles this week. First of all, I just want to remind you that we're doing weekly story, or um, yeah, weekly story times in person on Thursday mornings at 10:30. Uh, we meet out behind the library if the weather's good, and if the weather's bad, we'll meet inside um, on the third floor. So there's lots of space for everyone to sit, and we'll have chairs. Or if we're meeting outside, bring your own chair or blankets. Excuse me. Um, on Wednesday of this week, it's the Circus Grab, grab and Go Kit. So we're celebrating National Clown Day by um, celebrating circus. So we're going to have some popcorn, and we're going to give out little bags of uh, little circus bag kits, of just some really cute crafts and other activities you can do at a circus. There's also juggle balls for juggling. It's actually a really great kit. And I think that's it I can tell you right now. I'm sure I think of something else. Oh, we do the lunches every Monday through Thursday from starting at 12 o'clock until they're gone. So grab your rattle. And if you don't have a rattle, you can get, I don't know if you have a, a can with some rice in it and a toilet paper and tape, tape the bottom, toilet paper roll, put the rice in and tape the top and then you'll have your own berry maraca. We shake our rattles together, we shake our rattles together, we shake our rattles together, because it's fun to do. We shake our rattles together, we shake our rattles together, we shake our rattles together, because it's fun to do. We shake our rattles up, and we put our voice up, we shake our rattles down low, we shake them in the middle. We shake our rattles together, we shake our rattles together, we shake our rattles together, because it's fun to do. We shake our rattles up, we shake our rattles down low. We shake them in the middle, shake your rattles, follow me, follow me, follow me, shake your rattles, follow me. Them on your shoe, shoe or your toes. Shake your rattles, follow me, follow me, follow me. Shake your rattles, follow me, and put them on your elbow. Good job. Where's your elbow? Right here. Shake your rattles, follow me, follow me, follow me. Shake your rattles, follow me, and put them on your ear. One and two, two ears. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake them here, shake them there. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake your shakers. Shake them fast now. Shake them slow. Shake them stop. Shake them go. Shake them fast now. Shake them slow. Shake your shakers. Shake it. And shake it low, shake it yes, shake it no, shake it high, and shake it low, shake your shakers, shake them near and shake near and shake them far, drive your shaker like a car. Shake them near and shake them far. Shake your shakers. Do you know the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Dreary Lane? Why, yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Dreary Lane. Shake your rattles up. Shake your rattles down low. Take them in the middle. 
Rattles away, rattles away. Put your rattles away today. Rattles away, rattles away. Put your rattles away today. Before we say our lullaby, I just want to remind you that we do have a craft starting tomorrow. There will be a craft set out. And the craft is going to look like this when you're all done with it. We're going to get a little container of gray paint. So you can paint your elephant gray. See his cute little tail and his ears and his feet. So this is what the, that's what it's gonna the end product is supposed to look like. This is the bag you're gonna get like this, and it has a little promotion of our YouTube channel, and it has directions. And basically, the directions are paint, paint everything, paint, paint, and paint your toes, and attach your your tail. And what I would do with the tail is just after your paint is all dry, you can stick your little tail and the, um, whoopsie, sorry, my thing is slipping out. Thread it through this little hole and tape it right here. And then your little elephant tape right here. Feel free to share these pictures. I would love to see how your crafts come out. Don't make too much of a mess with the paint because your mom will be mad at me. And please have fun. So these will be at the, at the library starting tomorrow or excuse me, just starting this morning. They'll be available this morning. You can stop and grab one for yourself and do a great craft after you're done reading this, listening to the story time, of course. And tell your friends all about these story times. We get lots of viewers and have a really great day. The library is open. You're welcome to stop by anytime. We will see you guys soon. Oh, I forgot to sing goodbye or um, rockabye. Grab your adult or a pillow or a stuffy and let's sing rockabye baby. Rockabye baby on the treetop when the wind blows the cradle will rock when the bow breaks the cradle will fall and mom will catch baby cradle and all good job thanks so much for your time and come visit us at the library bye-bye have a great night thank you